Good morning, everybody. It is Rebecca with the Jocelyn Center, and we are back for episode six. 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 Episode six of the Jocelyn Variety Show. So today we are going to do a workout. So quick, grab a chair to use for support, and you can put on your sneakers if you've got them. Otherwise, don't worry about it. I'm doing them in flats today. Uh, so we're going to do just a couple quick workouts with Veronica. And then Jack and I will give you a quick operations update. We're going to try to do that every Monday during this whole period. And then um, we'll talk a little bit about the wellness center. So if you're ready for your workout, you got your chair, you all stood up, let's do it. Hi, everyone. Okay, let's get started. Let's everybody have a seat. Okay. Let's just say we've been sitting and all of a sudden two hours have flown by. <laughs> okay, so let's just start moving. Let's just tap our heels forward. Okay, my back is not touching the back of my chair because my music is behind me. But if you are seated all the way back, let's make sure your back feels nice and supported. And if you're not sitting all the way back, make sure your abdominals are squeezed to support your back. Okay? Now breathing. Exhale. 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 All right, let's pause. Now let's just do, do some arching. Get your arch puppy. Anybody notice we're doing squats? <laughs> Stand up. And really think of yourself as very strong. You've got a lot of strength down here. Stand up. And we'll do one more. Exhale when you stand up. There we go. All right, let's march around our chairs. One more time. Next to your chair, let's heels out. Now I have my hand on my chair. If you're comfortable not having your hand on your chair, then just use your arms, pump your arms out. So you're breathing. You are keeping your abdominal squeeze because that's your, that's your core stability right here. Okay, stand behind your chair now. I'm going to tap to the side, out, out. So your upper body stays right here, your lower body tapping side to side. We're doing a nice warm up, we got out of our chairs, we're moving around, and we'll do a little stretching. Okay, now let's stand to the side of the chair again. We're going to do knee lifts. Exhale when you lift your knee, ready? Hang on to your chair just lightly, just so you know it's there, in case you feel like you might lose your balance a little bit. Knee up and down. Exhale, exhale. Very controlled. Okay, we're gonna go behind the chair one more time. We're gonna focus on our glutes. You're gonna straight leg back. I'll turn to the side and demonstrate. Straight leg back. more. And squeeze your glutes when you push your straight leg behind you. One more each side. Okay. So on the side of the chair again, or maybe behind, we're going to do upper body. So you got your chair right here. We're just going to push our arms up. And notice your legs are about hip width apart. And we're just moving your upper body. 
Exhale. Exhale. Okay, there we go. All right. Now let's lower the arms. Stand to the side of the chair. We're going to stretch now. So let's reach over, up and over, just a little bit. Stretching here. Keep breathing. Other side. Nice stretch. Okay. Bring your hands placed in front of you, and I'm going to turn to the side. Just curve your upper back a little bit. Nice stretch across the back. Now we're going to reach behind you. If you can clasp your fingers, that's good. If you just want to reach behind you, that's good. You're opening up the chest. Okay, open the chest. Okay, let's have a seat in our chair for a couple more minutes or a minute or so. Okay, so you're seated on the chair. You're safely on the chair. One straight leg out, other foot on the floor. On your exhale, bend in your hips, bring your chest towards your straight leg, or chest towards your, your thighs. So notice we're not doing this, we have a straight back. Stretching the back of the straight leg. Okay, let's come up and switch legs. On your exhale, bend in your hips, straight leg forward. Hold that stretch, but keep breathing. I've got my toes pointed up to increase my stretch in the back of the leg. Okay, good. Stand up one more time. We'll go to the side of the chair and let's stretch the front of our legs. I'm holding my foot. You can also hold your pant leg if you have a pant leg. If you have a band, you could use the band, wrap it around your ankle and pull that your leg up that way. Stretching the front of the leg. Okay, release that leg, go to the other side. We've got big muscles here, so we want to give them a, a good stretch. Don't force it. Keep breathing. Hold your leg up or your pant leg. You've got one. Good. Okay, just a, just a little finish here. And I'm going to stop the music. Just a couple, just to really relax your body. Okay, that's good. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. All right, so now I'm going to take you guys over to another setup. We are going to come right over here so that Jack can give us all an operations update. Oh, you're a little crooked. All right, it comes to down with Jack. Okay. <laughs> so this is the second Monday, third Monday since we've been closed. Yes. Been closed since the seventh. The second Monday, but the third week. Yes. How are we doing? Uh, we're doing good. We're keeping <laughs> up our as good as well as we can under the circumstances. Um, we are keeping up our um, essential services, Meals on Wheels. We have Penny's Pantry this Friday from 7.30 to 9.30. Um, we do ask with Penny's Pantry that um, only one member of the family come to do the shopping, if, if at all possible, and that's to help us with the social distancing. Um, so please just don't, don't bring a lot of people from home, just one person. Uh, and last Friday we did it, everything went really, really well. We had everybody spaced out in line appropriately so that they had space between them while they were waiting. All the chairs were spaced. Everybody was very patient and very considerate. So thank you to everybody who came, um, who came last week. And if you've been scared to come to the pantry or if you haven't ever needed to in the past, but now you find yourself in a situation where you could use it, please don't be scared to come. It's really easy. We have great friendly volunteers and tons of food. And all of it is free, uh, so 7.30 to 9.30 this Friday for that one. Yes, so if you if you need Penny's Pantry, if you're out of work now and, and having problems, um, having finances, cover all your expenses and food is one of those, please uh, participate in Penny's Pantry. 
Um, also, we are taking, um, have few spaces for new clients in the Meals on Wheels program, so you can talk with Bob Elias. Um, he is the coordinator of that program, the director of that program, um, so you can contact Bob Elias. We do have phone answering, um, the, uh, someone here answering the phone, 760-340-3220. From about nine to two, you can be sure to catch someone. Um, after that, you may uh, leave a message. We can access messages remotely. Some of our staff are working remotely. Uh, the rest of us are maintaining social distancing. Um, also, our wellness center uh, is continuing operations, uh, our counseling, uh, problem-solving strategies. And what we're finding, Rebecca, is that as we're calling our members, and that's one of the things we're doing is calling our members. Um, and so if you haven't gotten a phone call and need some information or need some help, give us a call at that 760-340-3220 number. Um, but we're finding people after now a few weeks, they're starting to get a little stir crazy. <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> um, so, if you're having problems and if you want to talk it out with someone, we have counselors available and they can do telephone appointments. Um, if you have video capacity or FaceTime on your iPhone or something like that, we can do um, those sorts of appointments. So please call uh, and ask for, for Veronica at extension 217. If you get the uh, recording, uh, you can just put in extension 217 and get or, I'm sorry, 117. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Rebecca. <laughs> so that's extension 117 for our wellness center. Uh, and Veronica, who led our exercises, she will be happy to make the appointment with you. Since we are on some limited hours, it may take some time for someone to get back with you, but we are doing the best we can um, mm -hmm. to make sure people get the services. Um, we're doing this show and we're going to continue doing this show. We've gotten a great response on Facebook. Uh, and we're looking at doing some of our other programs virtually. Um, the National Council on Aging gave a webinar on how we can do our Aging Mastery program online. Uh, we're looking at doing our Brain Boot Camp online. So those are some of the things that uh, our viewers can look at. And since our viewers are able to watch Facebook and have some uh, knowledge of the technical requirements, you would be the ones that we would be reaching out for those classes. And also through our email newsletter and also on social media, you'll be seeing uh, a survey we're doing. And the survey is to find out what kind of technical capacity that our members have, um, what sort, whether they're working with an Android phone or an iPhone, whether they have video capacity at home on their computer, so we can fine-tune and provide classes for people um, that are consistent with their abilities. Okay, well thank you. I know that that's a lot of work to put together, but uh, it's important for us not just now while everybody is home, but even looking forward into the future of the Jocelyn Center and what it will look like in 2020 and beyond. What's the best way to reach our members as, uh, as baby boomers are aging and, um, and everybody's getting a little bit more tech savvy, so. Well, and I want to thank Rebecca. This whole whole Jocelyn uh, variety show was her idea. It was a great idea. Rebecca's coming up with some great ideas for other programs. So I want to thank her and, and the rest of the staff that's coming here uh, and working, uh, and also the staff that's working from home. We now have the work at home capacity. So we're here. We're doing everything we can under these very difficult circumstances uh, to provide our as many services as we possibly can to our members. And we're happy to do it. We love you guys and miss you and can't wait for you to be back on property. Um, stay tuned this week. We've got all kinds of things coming up tomorrow. We have another Arts and Crafts Day with uh, Judy and Veronica. We've got Brain Games again with Susan on Wednesday. And then more all kinds of exciting things the rest of the week. So 11 o'clock every weekday, Dawson Variety Show. Um, thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. <laughs>